हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ डोट नेट कोर एम एस सी टूटोरियल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ कैन वी सेटअप अ डेवलपमेंट मशीन फॉर डोट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ डोट नेट कोर फ्रेमवर्क देन यू कैन वॉच आर प्रीवियस टूटोरियल सीरीज डोट नेट कोर फंडामेंटल्स विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन आर चैनल कंप्लीटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ डोट नेट कोर फंडामेंटल सीरीज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज If you are completely new to .NET Core, then I would highly recommend you to watch that series because that series covers lots of fundamental topics about the .NET Core framework. In this video, we will learn how to set development machine for .NET Core applications development, how to install SDK and editors, and at the last of this video, we will learn how can we verify the installation of .NET Core in our system. Let's have a look on what tools and softwares are required for the development of .NET Core applications. First, we need a machine. You can use Windows operating system, you can use Mac operating system, or you can use Linux operating system. Then we need an editor. You can use any editor of your choice. But for the development of .NET Core applications, recommended editors are Visual Studio and VS Code. VS Code is Visual Studio Code. But these are not mandatory. You can use any editor of your choice. And third one and the most important, we need .NET Core SDK. .NET Core SDK is a software development kit and this kit is helpful for the development and running the applications in our system. Let's have a look on the editors. If you do not have any editor on your system, then I would recommend you to use Visual Studio. To know more about Visual Studio and download it, you can simply click on this link. You will find this link in the description box of this video also. Let's click on this. Here you can see we have a new website which is visualstudio.microsoft.com and then we have Visual Studio. So to download a new Visual Studio, you can click on this link. There are three types of versions of Visual Studio. First one is community. Community is completely free of cost for lifetime. So you can use this software for the development of .NET Core applications. Then we have professional and we have enterprise. So you can use any version as per your need. We also have Visual Studio Code. So if you want to install Visual Studio Code in your system, then you can use Visual Studio Code from this website as well. So here you will find the installer for the Windows applications, Mac and Linux. Then if you are using Mac operating system and want to install Visual Studio on your system, then you can download Visual Studio for Mac from this link. This is how you can download Visual Studio for your operating system. Then if you will scroll little bit, then you will find lots of detail about Visual Studio here on this website. This is the official website of Visual Studio and any change, any update, any information about the Visual Studio, this is the best place to get about that information. You can also use VS Code. VS Code means Visual Studio Code. VS Code is the lightweight and latest editor from the Microsoft. The official website of VS Code is code.visualstudio.com. You can click on this link and get the details about VS Code. So here you will see we can download for Windows, Mac operating system, Windows operating system and Linux. For any information and details about VS Code, please refer to this website. This is the official website of VS Code. You can also use Atom. Sublime, Bracket, etc. These are some editors which can be used for the development of .NET Core application. No editor is mandatory. You can use any editor as per your choice. If you want to write the code in Notepad, then you can write the code in Notepad as well. .NET Core SDK to development any .NET Core application, you must need an SDK and this is the most important thing which is required for the development of .NET Core applications. To download and install the .NET Core SDK, we can simply refer to this link, .net.microsoft.com slash download. 
Let's click on this link. Here you will find loads of details about the TrueNet Core downloads. If you have Windows operating system, then you will see for Windows we have two options: .NET Core, which is the latest one, and .NET Framework. Since .NET Framework can be used only on the Windows, so in Windows we have two sections. Since we are focusing on .NET Core framework, so we will refer to this section, and here you will see we have several options. First, we have Run Applications, Download .NET Core Runtime. Then we have Download .NET Core SDK. and we have one more link so let's understand the details about dotnet core runtime and dotnet core sdk dotnet core runtime can be used to run any dotnet core application you cannot use dotnet core runtime for the development of dotnet core applications this can only be used to run these applications so suppose after the development of any web application i want to deploy this application on a particular server and on that server i do not need the development I just need a runtime environment so that I can run the application on that server and for that we can use .net core runtime then we have .net core sdk software development kit software development kit is the complete package which is required for the development and run the .net core applications so if you are installing .net core sdk then there is no need to install .net core runtime separately everything which is required for the development and run about dotnet core you will find everything here in this sdk then we have all dotnet core downloads so if you will click on this link then you will see all the versions of dotnet core the latest version of dotnet core at the time of recording this video is dotnet core 3.1 so we will be using dotnet core 3.1 for the development in this tutorial If you want to download some previous version of .NET Core, then you can simply get these information from here. Let's go back to the download section. Okay, so this was all about Windows. If you are on Linux, then you can click on this link, and you will get some details about the .NET Core on the Linux system. You can simply click on this Install .NET Core. So here you will get the latest version, which is 3.1. If you want to work with the old version of .NET Core, then you can get the information from this link. Then for Mac OS, here is the link: download .NET Core SDK. If you will click on this link, then the latest version, which is 3.1, will be installed in your system. And if you want to learn about the previous version of .NET Core, then you can refer to this link. Then at the last, we have Docker. If you want to see the details of .NET Core on Docker, then you can refer to this link. explore dotnet core images on docker hub let's click on this link here you will see we have the images of dotnet core on the docker hub so you can use this image as well for dotnet core applications let's go back in this tutorial i am using windows operating system so i'll go to windows and i will download this dotnet core sdk from this link let's click on this link so here in the bottom left corner you can see the system is downloading the exe file for the installation of dotnet core sdk 3.1 let's click on this file okay so we have a new window which is asking about the installation about dotnet core sdk the version is 3.1.101 if you want to learn more about dotnet core then you can refer to these links but for now simply click on this install button once you will click on the install button the installer will install dotnet core in your system at the last you have to click on the finish button to verify the installation of dotnet core we will use dotnet cli we can open any command line tool in the system if you are using windows then you can go for command prompt if you are using mac operating system then you can use terminal or any other command line tool that you have installed in your system so let's open so here i am using command prompt since i am using windows operating system so command prompt is good for me and to verify the installation i have to write dot net remember you do not have to give any space in between dot and net simply dot net then space dash dash version and press enter if the dot net core is installed in your system then you will see a number and the number will be the latest version of sdk which is installed in your system 
इन केस यू हैव इंस्टॉल एनी प्रीवियस वर्जन जस्ट लाइक टू डॉट ओ और वन डॉट ओ एंड नाउ यू आर इंस्टॉलिंग द लेटेस्ट वर्जन जस्ट लाइक थ्री पॉइंट वन देन हेयर एट दिस प्लेस यू विल सी थ्री पॉइंट वन सो इफ यू आर गेटिंग दिस नंबर इट मीन्स डोट नेट कोर इज इंस्टॉल इन योर सिस्टम परफेक्टली दैट इज ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई होप यू एंड योर मशीन बोथ आर रेडी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डोट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशंस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए ग्रेट डे